Black Collars, and he definitely wants some revenge. He definitely has some really harsh choice words with Franklin. You know, for him not helping him pretty much just put a bullet in one of them. You know, McCab just wanted to see blood, you know, and Franklin didn't want to move that way. He realized that it just wouldn't have done anything. And now, actually, it looks like Lulu actually, in order to, is starting to actually move on up and actually being Claudia's right woman man. Now, mind you, we haven't seen Franklin's father since last season. And I think that he was like one of the actually homeless men that actually were, was beaten on. Um, last week, I think the episode was actually, I think that's who it actually was towards the very end of the first episode. So we might just see him again pretty soon. And, you know, obviously Kevin said, man, you know, fuck it, I'm about to kill all these motherfuckers. You know, they kill a family, they're all dead to me. It doesn't matter who it is. But like I said, you know, Franklin, you know, was able to come and make him convince, like, yo, listen. And he actually, Kevin even pulled a gun on Franklin after Franklin swung on Kev. You know, and I think we saw in the previews that Kevin was just like, all right, well, he stole some money from Franklin. And he's like, yo, you took money from me when I was telling you. And Kev was like, well, you got to do what you got to do, right? And mind you, Reed, also, now that I'm, actually, we now see Reed and Franklin finishing up the little transaction here. So we'll see how, we'll get, how it goes down. I'll get back with y'all. Dude, actually, a new uh, alias, um, and a place to meet up with Reed now from now on for the drop. I guess Reed now, actually, aka Teddy, is pretty much telling Frank, like, look, you need to buy a new suit, don't keep it on the shoes, and you need to don't be here an hour earlier. Alright, guys, so Franklin's mother just realized, you know, the woman, the nurse that was taking care of her father, said, like, look, he's, he's, yeah, he had a VA license on him, and he really, if he goes back to his way of life, then he's going to be going through the same thing again. He says, look, we may, I don't know your situation, but he has no other place to go. I think he really needs a stable environment. You know, the Franklin's mother was like, well, you don't know what you're asking me, so. And Kev just, and Franklin just came into the uh, dope house, and he just, so Frank said, Kev, yo, man, I was not bad about last week. And Kev was like, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, right? And now I guess Lulu was just getting fed up with, um, how you know the product supply is, you know, because you know, product Franklin just came back in with the product with more product, and Lulu was like, Well, you gotta find another place to make it because we're running out of room. this is too much, we can't make it in time. And um, now his uh, Franklin's uh, let's say white contact is giving him a whole bunch of of money. Now Franklin's passing him more white, and so we'll see what how it goes down. something about that his white contact I think he's either using or he might have started somebody else to cover his own ass eight fucking man something else now we see Frank get dressed for his meet with Reed I think he's just nervous as hell. He keeps retiring his side over and over again. I mean, I would be too if I don't know these people. You know, my, my contact just put me on them, put me on to them. I'd be shit. I'd be shitting bricks too. Pun intended. And so we see Franklin come through with the duffel bags. This is pretty, this, this looks pretty fucking accurate. I know they had to have some actual uh, evidence, video evidence of Franklin doing this with the, with the CIA, the FBI form. I know they, I know they do. Oh, shit. Okay. Constitutional business firm, I guess, from the looks of it. Well, I wonder who they're meeting with. Hold up a sec. Okay, okay, very, very clever, Teddy, very, very clever. He just basically just told Franklin to set up a bank account with a well-known um, contact of his, and, you know, pretty much Franklin doesn't know who the hell this guy is. He's just setting up a bank account, and he just used the fake ID that Teddy gave him. So, 
Franklin even what actually Franklin even recognized a formal a former uh Jade statue that his mother once had that he broke as a kid. So the guy said, Well no no no, well, go ahead and take it, go ahead and take it. Think of this as a small token of our friendship now. So which I think obviously has a has has a tracker now. The pieces of um the piece of material that he has actually given that he was actually given is a fucking tracker. To see where he's going, possibly has a few audio components to it as well. To listen in on stuff just in case, because now they could easily raid uh, Franklin's uh, production and wherever he's where he's cooking up the white, or just in general, just raid on him if they really, really wanted to, and it wouldn't be a problem. So I'll see, so we'll see what goes what goes wrong with that. And I guess this is just my theory. I feel like maybe if Franklin's father now is getting better, probably off the bottle and off the street, maybe that's going to convince Franklin to do right as well, or maybe that's where the angle in which his mother may try to try to work, who knows. We'll, 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 I guess we'll see. Alright guys, so Jerome, so Franklin and Jerome are at, like, pretty much like a standoff with the, the Mexican uh, gang, and Jerome's like, you know, all this shit is off. Everything is done. No, but wait, wait a second. Actually, wait, no. Actually, Jerome's teaching all his crew how to shoot. Now, Peach has already knows how to shoot. He was in the military. But Jerome's telling everybody else how to shoot. They have to, like, this uh, oil refinery, I believe. So, pretty much Jerome's hyping him up, saying, look, look, man, it's time to go to war. You know, pretty much setting up a rally and crowd for all his people. Not a bad thing, but I just hope they don't go out and just start shooting people. Now, my apologies for actually missing out on all this content. I was actually had to change out my browser, you know, because mine, the only one that I normally use crashed and shit like that. So I apologize for all that. Looks like uh, Lucia is actually celebrating with her new sister-in-law. So the whole competition they're having, they're having a big drinking competition. So you drunk whole chef. Or you're a pussy, pretty much. I wonder what they're celebrating. So it looks like uh, Rosario was actually hit by somebody. And uh, Gustavo makes the joke, well, he would have sick Gigi on him. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, Saladan, I'm sorry. It's uh, Pedro's wife. You know, and Pedro's like, you know, it's our first Christmas gift. You know, we got to start our own, you know, traditions. Oh, man, I'm wondering, is Lucia a little jealous? You know, because I was like, you got a weak spot for him. She said, maybe. <laughs> and she's like, come with me. I'm going to show you something. I wonder what this is. You know, because I was like, you've already showed me everything. She's like, no, not everything. Come on. Come on with this kid. It looks like we see Franklin over at Claudia's. If you also remember the trailer, Lulu was a little fed up with uh, Jerome not giving her money. That that she's word. That she's word. That she's uh, I'm sorry, not word, but worth. Not everything that she's owed. So we see her Lulu with Claudia. Now, mind you, I think the whole thing is for Lulu to actually run Claudia out, and so that way she can run the nightclub and all the the district, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So Leon looking, looking at scenes like, yo, are we cool? You know, it was like, yeah, we cool. Alright, so Wanda, I guess, is this.
So I guess they had to get a new cook because it pretty much looks like Lulu is out. So Wanda is, I guess, going to be cooked. It's going to be Lulu's replacement as long as she doesn't get hooked, which I think she is, which I think is going to be the downfall of their operation. Is Wanda getting hooked on the, on the, on the stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, we're back. <clears throat> Looks like Kevin's enjoying himself at the party. Franklin goes up to him. No, I hope, honestly, honestly, I hope they don't have, I hope there's not like a falling out between Kevin Franklin and Leon because those three were the best of friends and I really hope it doesn't, hope Kev's um, departure doesn't lead to like a downfall of Franklin's operation, you know what I mean? And I feel like Kev might just do that by possibly either trying to take him out or even maybe um, snitching on him somehow, so. But we'll see if they're having a conversation right now. So this is where Franklin realizes that Kev took money without telling him. You know, I gave money to my dad because it's mom. So let me run up. You know, I'm like, yeah, I shouldn't have had to ask for money. He's like, he cares. Like, yeah, I gave you everything you want to give. He's like, look, I'm doing all this, and none of my family or girlfriend gets picked up. You know, when Kev's a look, man, you have a second audio look like, bitches, I know you gave everybody guns and flashy rims and stuff to you. That's a distraction, but I'm not going to be out here, you know, looking like a bitch, you know. You got hit back. That's what I want to do. Friends of leave crap, who did it? Who gives a small chance to him back? I'm gonna go for it. Is that good enough for now? So pretty much, hopefully, and that was just me just quoting Franklin line and line because it goes by so fast and I don't want to be able to catch up with it, the dialogue. But and Kev's like, yeah, you know, that's just cool for now. But I, just like I said, I feel like Kev's gonna slip. You know, and just go, and this whole thing is gonna just go downhill for real. I really do, because it's obvious that you know Kev is just fed up with Franklin. He doesn't want, he doesn't want shit to do with him anymore. And now here comes the interaction between Lulu and Franklin. He compliments her dress. Frank is like a project where we're gonna get you again. You no, know, Lulu obviously doesn't want to do that anymore. She's done with it. Possibly done with Jerome too. I feel like uh, Lulu's probably comfortable comfortable with her position. You know, with Claudia. You know, she feels like she's being uh, utilized properly, possibly in a position of power, if you will. So we'll see what happens. You know, I also forgot that Teddy and uh, his buddy Matt has to now move stash of drugs so that now they, they, so that now they don't get caught. Because obviously, if they get caught, they're going down. And also, the government can't protect Teddy because it's completely private and off the books. So honestly, we will see what happens to Teddy. And I hope actually something good does come of this with Teddy and Matt. You know, Teddy's a really dedicated agent. You know, he works pretty hard on this. <laughs> Damn, Teddy, calm down, bro. 
Let me tell you, grabbing that damn shovel in the damn ground like it's the last thing. Yeah, you just hit coca. <laughs> Like they're in fucking suitcases. Shit, so it's easier to tug, tug around. Shit. I mean, if you had a bunch of kilos, I mean, would you really want, would you really trust that they're actually in, like, bags or whatever? Like, people can easily find that shit. I guess they, I guess there's, there's like, some stolen product. So he's like, you're the only person that, along with you, the only person that knows. So, you know, Teddy just reminded Matt, like, look, this is all just temporary. I just want you to know that. It looks like, you know, Franklin's mother was checking on, checking on his father. He asked, where is she? So it looks like Franklin's mother's gonna give him another chance. I mean, that'd be the good thing. I mean, maybe, like I said before in the beginning of the video, maybe his father could be of use to him now in a better way. Oh, I saw that. I missed the start of the video. So it looks like Saladad is looking working for somebody off the books that they don't know about. It looks like she's a super agent. And she's like, well, it looks like Larry punched me in the face. Except Larry punched me in the face. So I'm like Saladad's real name is Franken. Francesca, I believe. From what I could hear. But uh, yeah, it looks like she was definitely an agent, a plant, you know, to take down Lucia. Whether they were having their sights on her for quite some time. Shit. <laughs> and another thing about Franklin's mother, I feel like in a way, even though she doesn't have a son at home, she has the father of her son at home. I guess you could, I guess you could say that his, or his father is acting as a, uh, you know, an equal tenant, I guess, or balances everything out in her life now. You know, work things out with the father, and then possibly the son can come home. And so now we see she went showing Gustavo what she has. I wonder what the hell it is. A wrestling, a wrestling ring. Wow, you for real, son? And so now, Franklin's mother sees the the porcelain jade, the jade lion that he got from that shady ass plant of a bank account tent. So that's actually pretty nice. Looks like Franklin's in the kitchen all by himself making the product. Damn, 
like, Brandon, what the hell did you do? But uh, who knows what happened, man. I hope everything goes all right for him. Cause he looks like he's all alone now. I wonder what happened, because remember, my stream app went down, guys, so I don't necessarily... There's some parts that are missing out, obviously, that I don't really know which are inspired, unfortunately. So, I, that's how I think you to look at, you know, what's to come out next week to fill in the gaps somehow, and possibly rewatch the episode, you know, and put the missing pieces in for my next live review next week. Alright, guys, so it looks like, you know, from what's going to transpire from next week, uh, Franklin goes back to Javi, and they try to reestablish their, their partnership. You know, so because it looks like everyone just left hung, uh, Franklin out to dry. So he brings Reed in, aka Teddy, to help establish that deal a bit more. So now, basically, it just made Teddy's job a lot easier. He's killing two birds with one stone. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Franklin's father, in the previews of last week, next week's next week's episode, is asking Franklin for handouts. He goes to his mother and says, like, why the hell is dad in my life now? He's asking for handouts and shit like that. So we'll see what happens. But this is your boy here to speak so you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below as well. I love you guys. God bless.